Hello everyone, welcome to 7th International Ushak Short Film Festival. Uh, today I'm with uh, Lawrence Girard. Uh, she's gonna talk about her film, uh, Sprinklers, which is selected for official screening. So, Lawrence, how are you and how do you feel? Oh, I'm great, thank you. Thank you for the invitation, actually. It's very great. Yeah, anytime. Uh, before I start asking questions, would you like to tell about yourself or our viewers? Yeah, um, I'm 22 years old. Um, I just finished my baccalaureate in cinema at uh, the University of Quebec in Montreal. So it's in, in Canada. And um, uh, yeah, it was Sprinkles was the first film, the first film I directed. It was in the um, course of my studies. So it's a, a university movie, but it's like the um, the end of our three year study is like the final project. So it was like the final project yeah, I get of my it. Yeah. For, for, <laughs> for graduation, right? Yes, for graduation, exactly. Yeah, because uh, I I did some research uh, about you, but I couldn't find anything. But then I guess it was your first film. Then you told yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So if you if you allow me, I'm gonna start with the first question. Yeah. Uh, how serious is teen pregnancy in Canada, and what prompted you to place it in your storyline? Um, I actually don't know how serious it is compared to other countries. I know that it is something that happens, mm -hmm. and um, the the reason why I put it in my storyline is that um, I wanted to find something that when you're a teenager force you to become an adult before you mm -hmm. even start thinking of being an adult and for me it was that those little moments when you're a teenager when you first start um, trying new things and for the first time you have kind of a like a baby scare like you're scared of being pregnant and most of the time it's not the case and but those little moments where you just, oh, if this goes wrong, I might have to rethink my life. Or like just thinking of like this constant thought of thinking, if if I'm really pregnant, I have to talk about it to my parents. And just like this this constant fear as a teenager that you realize that you're not ready to be an adult. And it is something for women that we I think we face maybe more because because of that, because it's something that we don't really have the power and um but you have the choice but it, it's hard and um for for me it was to put uh, julianne in that place where like yeah yeah she's in a place where she cannot even um she, she cannot even ex like be comfortable about it because she's supposed to take care of somebody else but right now she really really wish to take care of herself and it's that that kind of mixed feeling with where yeah uh, this would this pop your bubbles like you're not a child anymore you need you have responsibility and you need to take care of it so yeah exactly that's why exactly thank you for your answer and uh, my second question is going to be have you used crowdfunding to make this film uh no i didn't use crowdfunding uh but we use other um way of um financing the movies uh, is that a word <laughs> finding money for the movie uh, we like organize um, uh, fundraising parties and we did a, a, dra a drag queen show where like people of the team dance to raise money. And um, the thing that worked the most actually is um, we did a, a thrift shop in the lobby of the school. Uh -huh. So friends of mine and family gave me clothes and I was just like second hand. Uh, yeah, second hand. Yeah. So we had like this, those second hand clothes and we were at, like at the door when you enter in the school and people were stepping by and just buying clothes and that is the way that we make we made the most money for for the movie so. really yeah that, that's yeah. that's really great because uh uh you know we we do this actually every year for our festival to mm -hmm. second hand selling we, we, we always do that and it's it's really clever yeah and does that work well for you uh, usually yeah 
yeah, go, COVID happened. Yeah, thank you. And the uh, next question is, how was the process about casting and uh, how did it feel to work with a child performer? Yeah, um, for Julian, who is the teenage girl, mm -hmm. actually, um, I went to the cinema with two of my friends with whom I am studying. And we went to see uh, the movie that's called Jeune Juliette, which is, I think in English, is a uh, young Juliette. I think it's translated that way. And um, Julian was playing the, uh, Leanne was playing the um, supporting role in that movie. Mm -hmm. And when I, as I went out of the cinema, I was thinking to myself, she was really great. She could, I could really see her in Julian, but like just, it was just a thought. And before I could express it, my two friends that were with me stopped talking and say, Damn, that clerk, that girl, Leanne, she's really great. We could really see her as Julian in the movie. So the three of us as the, had the same thought at the same time. So I was like, okay. So I wrote to her agen agency and um, she lived an hour and a half from where I lived. And I took my car and went to meet her and take coffee with her. I'm like, I really want you to come, like to be part of that project. And she, she said yes. And um, she was really good. And um It was really fun because she wanted to, to take part of the project like from all the steps and I invited her to help me with the auditions. So for the little girl, I did auditions for the, the child mm -hmm. and I did the first round with not Leanne. And when I had like my two or three, the two or three people that I was more uncertain about, I asked uh, Leanne to come and um I, I'm not sure if what I will tell you is when with Leanne or in the first round, but the story more is more interesting if it's Leanne that was there. <laughs> but, um, I at the audition I always ask um, the the children. I say, okay, you now have this object in your hand. You stole it from your ba babysitter, and she wanted it back, but you don't want it to give it back. You will give it back when she will have an argument that. Pleases, pleases Char Charlotte, so pleases the character you play. And Mai just started running. We had a big room and she just started running around the room and climbing on the, on the tables. And just like, she was fearless, but not, nothing could stop her, except when Leon said, I have candies, I, I could give you sugar treats. And that's when the moment she stopped and she asked how much and she started bargaining about how many candies. I'm like, this is Charlotte, she's unstoppable until she gets what she wants and and she will fight for it and like it was like this there was like it was there charlotte was there and like okay that's fine i i found it so, so you 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 thought like that's the spirit yeah that's the spirit. and the two girls together it has this this magical thing and i was like okay i i cannot i don't need to search for it and this it's there that's great that's great yeah and uh what was the best part of making this film Um, I, I think actually, um, it was working with the two girls, uh, and I didn't, I, I forget to talk about it at your last question, but I love working with teenagers and children, mm -hmm. um, maybe because I am still one in my head sometimes. So <laughs> it's, for me, it's like, it's like a game. It's, it's, um, it's finding like for an actor to be, to, to, <clears throat> impersonate a character sometimes it's hard because sometimes you cannot find the right emotions in yourself to express the emotion the character is feeling so working with children and working with teenagers or people that are quite my age it is to sometimes find together find a path there's really a co-working thing that happens because you're all in the same thing where you all don't really understand everything. So there's a nice conversation. And I think what I liked the most about making that movie was to discover how important this conversation is with your actors and how it is important to trust the other people in your team, your actor as well as anybody creative. But I really learned that. And I, it's something that I really am, um, am proud, proud of because I, I felt like I, I learned something in that movie and I had a lot of fun to do it because Yeah, it's all about sharing and, um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I got uh, some questions, like specific questions about your film. Mm -hmm. uh, your film has an expression which uh, blends of fairy tale and uh, adult troubles. 
Mm -hmm. uh, did you create this bright and colorful world uh, to balance the stiffness in the story? Um, yes, but with a certain nuance. A nuance. Actually, um, what I want to create is the house is really more um, linked to the adulthood. Like everything is cold, everything is like boring, white, straight. Yeah, everything yeah. is too big or there's not a lot of decorations or everything. And when you enter in the shed and it's uh, Charlotte's world, everything mm -hmm. is bright and colorful and there's like this exactly. nice place, dreamland, fairy tale place. So what I really want to create is like put Julianne in those two worlds and make the public see how she reacts and how she interacts with the environment. And I think that that's a way to say that in, in the house, she's really stressed, she's really nervous, she, she's not, she doesn't have any patience with Charlotte. And at first, when she enters in Charlotte's world, she still has no patience. But as she stays in it, she feels more and more comfortable to the point that she is comfortable enough to face the truth. So that, that's why I did it that way. Yeah, actually, next question, uh, you answered like next question, but my next question were, Can we associate the relationship between uh, Julianne and Charlotte to Julianne's pregnancy? Because uh, it's always changing from the beginning to the end. I already answered it um, I, before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and no, second, if I can I... add, I think it's... You have everything. Perfect. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh. Uh, oh, no, sorry, sorry. I misunderstood. <laughs> I misunderstood what you said. No, but if I, if I can add is um that at first she is stubborn stubborn with charlotte actually so she mm -hmm. she don't want to say she only cares about her problem and, and as the movie goes on she she make peace with charlotte and she make peace with her world too. yeah the world of charlotte and the Charlotte. And so okay thank you and uh does the final version of your film uh match what you imagined No, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it doesn't. It does not match the scenario, but mm -hmm. it matches what I wanted to say. So um, when we're at school, we always learn that there's three steps in writing. You're writing a scenario, you're rewriting mm -hmm. when you shoot, and you're re rewriting when you edit. And when we started editing, uh, we did what was written and shoot. We looked at it and say, mm, that doesn't work. The storyline worked, but it wasn't what we wanted to say. It, it was, it, no, it didn't work. So we started, okay, looking at what we had and say, okay, let, let's make a movie with this. It started to be like a game or a puzzle. And I mean, the storyline is quite the same, it's similar, but it's not exactly what I had in mind at first. But I think the movie is really better that way. And I think it is, um, it is what I wanted to say. And I, I love it that way. It's very great. And, It's nice to be able to see a work in progress and change so much. And yeah, it was really fun. Thank you. And uh, may I ask if there are next projects are you planning? Um, but I am currently um, writing. Um, there's nothing like uh, that I will start to shoot soon, but I am wor uh, working on a, a series of sh mm -hmm. short episodes uh, for mm -hmm. a children's series. Mm -hmm. So more, uh, I will ask, I will... Um, I want to work more with children and with a children audience as well. Okay, thank you. And uh, I think that was my last question, but is there anything you would like to add or a message? Maybe, I don't know. Um, actually, I would like to, to say thank you for, for this um, conversation. It's really, really great. And I hope next time I'll be able to come physically, actually. But uh, but thank you very much for this. Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, uh, I hope we can meet in person, upcoming years, upcoming festivals. Uh, thank you, real. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, take care of yourself. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>